In this figure, we have a circle with the center at point O. Outside the circle, we have point P and two equal angles. We can call one of these angles CPD and the other one EPD. This side of the angle CPD is tangent to the circle and this side of the angle EPD passes through the center. We are not given the measures of any angles and neither we have the radius or the circumference. Then from this figure we need to find angle theta. Notice that this angle is formed by the intersection of two chords CE and BD. Regarding such an angle, we have the following principle. If we have an angle theta formed by the intersection of two chords AD and BC, then to find the measure of this angle, we need to add the measures of the intercepted arcs AB and CD and divide the result by 2. So in our figure, to find the measure of angle theta, we need to add the measures of the intercepted arcs BC and ED and divide the result by 2. But how can we find the measures of these arcs? For this, we need to look at another principle. In both these figures, we have angles whose vertex is outside of the circle. In this figure, the two sides of the angle are secants of this circle, and in this figure, one side is a secant and the other one is a tangent. The intercepted arcs in this figure are AB and CD, and in this one, AB and CB. In both cases, to find angle P, we need to subtract these arcs and divide the result by 2. So here, angle P is one half the difference of the arc AB and the arc CD. Down here, the angle P is one half the difference of the arc AB and BC. Now, let's take a look at the angle E, P, D. The intercepted arcs are ED and AB. Then, to find this angle, we need to subtract these two arcs and divide the result by 2. So, the angle EPD equals one half the difference of the arc ED and AB. Now, in the angle CPD, the intercepted arcs are DC and BC. Then we can write that the angle CPD equals one half of the difference of DC and BC. And now, because these two angles are equal, these expressions are also equal. Then we can write that one half of the difference of ED and AB equals one half the difference of CD and BC. If we multiply both sides by two, then we will have that ED minus AB equals DC minus BC. So, so far on each side we have a difference of two arcs. I will add AB on both sides and BC on both sides so that on both sides we have a sum instead of a difference. Then we will have ED plus BC equals DC plus AB. So in the figure ED plus BC is the same as AB plus CD. Now notice that if we add all these four arcs together, that is AB plus BC plus CD and plus DE, we will get the measure of 180 degrees. So again, all these arcs together measure 180 degrees. And in this equation, this means that this side is 90 degrees and this side is also 90 degrees. Now recall that according to this formula, to find angle theta, we need to add the arcs BC and ED and divide the result by 2. 
From this equation, we see that the sum of these two arcs is 90 degrees. Then to find angle theta, we just need to take one half of 90 degrees. Then angle theta equals 45 degrees. I hope you enjoyed this problem and thank you for watching.